Hi everyone, I'm Renal Manohar. I'm CEO of Proof AI. Proof AI is an AI governance tool that enables you to deploy AI in a very compliant and responsible manner. AI is clearly going to be the fourth industrial revolution, the operational efficiencies we can gain from artificial intelligence, both from industrial and other use cases, is fairly massive. But the issue is, given the complexity and multi-party nature of AI, it's very hard to have complete transparency into your AI systems. And we've seen that come about in the real world. Uh, personally identifiable information, uh, copyright information making itself into AI models, and as a result, lawsuits, etc. Not to mention bias and hallucination, which sometimes we can't attribute to a certain problem. Like, for example, if you know a robot in a factory is getting miscalibrated because of its AI, it's very hard to trace the source of that problem. So we give a set of features that enable both a responsible use of AI, as well as compliant use of AI. And we do this through three or four things. The first thing is we allow full certifiability and auditability of your underlying AI build. So if you're confused as to what data set caused a change, what tweak to the model caused a change, all of that is tracked on an immutable uh, DLT ledger, in this case, Hedera. Second, as a result of tracking all of these things, you also have a greater level of recourse and um, version control. Now that you know exactly everything that contributed to a certain state of AI, if that state is misbehaving or not working within uh, the required KPIs or parameters, you can always go back in time and go back to a version that was working uh, previous to that. And then finally, really importantly, uh, unlike other tech stacks, AI has been multi-party right out the gate. Your AI models are sourced from one place, your parameterization can come from anywhere, you might use data both external and internal, and so it's incredibly important to be able to facilitate governance across multiple parties, including external auditors. So sum total of all these features means your ability to innovate really, really fast uh, increases because you have great transparency and recourse. You can do it across multiple parties and you're compliant with any existing or any to come regulation that might uh, come about. Several reasons uh, to build on Hedera. Look, I could, I could spend a lot of time, but let me talk about two or three that are really, really specific. First, I think it does come down to um, culture and alignment of uh, what, what the organizations want to do. Hedera has always been upfront about enterprise usage of blockchain technology, abstracting, you know, a lot of things that are purely cryptocurrency, but also, you know, ensuring that there's actual real underlying use of the underlying technology. And we agree with that 100%. Uh, the fact that the council has members from very, very reputed firms, many of them household names, uh, as part of the validator set, both gives a high level of decentralization, but also a high level of trust that the validation of the underlying transactions is done in a very coherent manner. The second thing, or, or the other things are really technical features, which are very, very important for any governance product. Uh, for example, Hedera has instant finality, uh, which is incredibly important, especially in any audit or logging type system where time synchronization and knowing the timestamp of when, ha when something happened is incredibly important. And then, of course, all the sophisticated stuff like Turing complete smart contracts, the fact that there's USDC integration, etc., makes uh, any additional features like commerce attached to the underlying usage of the product seamless and uh, significantly more viable in the enterprise space. Um, there was a really interesting thing uh, when I was uh, on a podcast with Lehman where he said, oh, I love it when, you know, uh, the blockchain part is actually kind of invisible. It's doing everything useful in the background and you don't even know about it. Similar to how we're using AWS every day if you watch a streaming video. And we want to bring that um, to the forefront with Prove AI. And we think Hedera is the best blockchain platform to do that in an enterprise-grade, resilient manner. On the convergence of AI and DLT, I, I view them as highly complementary technologies. Um, and the reason for that is DLT brings something to AI that it doesn't have right now, and that's a level of determinism. 
Because DLT is inherently tamper-proof and a transaction once signed cannot be reversed, by extension, any audit path is also tamper-proof and hence 100% trustworthy. So with AI systems, you know, things change very, very often. You, you could change the underlying model, you could tweak the parameterization. Uh, depending on the use case, the data sets feeding this model could be changing on maybe a daily, monthly, or even on a per second basis. And making sense of all of that requires uh, a tamper-proof system to record all of this. So that's step one. DLT is really the best technology to have this tamper-proof audit trace of everything that's happening in your AI system. But it goes beyond that. There's a couple of things that I think people ignore here. Uh, the alternative would, for example, would be a standard database. And there the issue would be ensuring that multiple parties can interact becomes incredibly difficult. Databases are highly centralized. There's a single DBA. They're not completely tamper-proof. And now if you wanted to give access to an external auditor, a data provider, a model provider, someone who's parameterizing your model, or a third party who's actually instantiating and running those models, it gets incredibly difficult with other technologies. However, with blockchain, um, given the tamper-proof nature, and given really complex Turing complete access control, uh, you're able to do all this governance in a very, very seamless manner, as well as adjust going forward uh, as new features or new compliance requirements come about, or just new efficiency requirements, right? A lot of this is not going to be driven by regulation, it's going to be driven by innovation. People want to be able to deploy AI models quickly, innovate fast, and the more transparency they have into what's going on underneath, uh, the faster they can do it. Unlike other areas where blockchain has got some resistance, where there's an existing tech stack, what's beautiful in artificial intelligence is we're all figuring out the tech stack in real time. And there's a chance uh, on the governance and track and trace side to build it correctly right from the ground up. And that's what we're really trying to do in partnership with Hedera. The barriers to adoption are, uh, are really two or three things, and I can talk a little bit about how they can be addressed. So first, I think there's a very big misunderstanding about blockchain uh, as a technology. I think people think it's only useful for cryptocurrency or NFTs, which, by the way, are amazing innovations. I'm not dissing them at all. Uh, amazing innovations. But the underlying technology actually can do so much more in the enterprise space. So I think there's just an education curve, you know, the tamper-proof multi-party access nature. Of, of a DLT is incredibly valuable in the enterprise space. The second barrier really has been the fact that there is incumbent, uh, there are incumbent tech stacks across a variety of use cases, whether it's finance, supply chain, uh, etc. And that there, hence there's always been resistance. If you think about it, it comes down to economics, right? There's a CIO or CTO who's spent tens of millions of dollars on his current tech stack. Uh, DLT technology is superior in many, many ways, but some people just don't want to go through the brain damage of re-architecting things. I think eventually that will happen, you know, as systems become obsolete and people want to do a refresh, they will go and pick, uh, you know, the best of breed new technologies that are out there. Uh, the cool thing, at least in the AI space, is that the tech stacks are all fresh and new. And as a result, we thought that's one of the best areas to innovate because it's a problem that we can really, really solve. And there isn't an incumbent tech stack that we're fighting against. Uh, TLDR, it really comes down to education. And I think um, the, the more we uh, really talk seriously about what the technology can do, I, I, I'm very confident that it, it will happen. It's not happened as fast as many of us would have liked. But we're only at the beginning, right? The internet took uh, decades to take off and now we can't imagine life without it. Uh, that too shall pass for DLT technology. Our, our focus area on Prove AI is really to get customers using the product as soon as possible. Um, we, we, we have a base feature set, uh, you know, v consistent with what I described. But as with any innovative technology, the only way to ensure that you're meeting your customers' needs is to rapidly iterate side by side with your customers. So we'd be very excited to partner with anyone who's looking to ensure that they're able to have full transparency into their AI builds, as well as recourse and multi-party access. Uh, our goal for this year is to rapidly iterate, keep including features within um, the Prove AI system ho hosted on the Hedera blockchain. But also on top of that, uh, 
I'd say as important is really interacting with enterprise players and potential customers and making sure the, cost, uh, the product solves the actual needs that they have. At Prove AI, we're laser focused right now on bringing uh, customers uh, on board the platform. So anyone who's interested in deploying AI responsibly, having full transparency of their underlying AI builds, please reach out to us. Uh, we're very, very interested in hearing about your needs and making sure that the product fulfills your needs.